Welcome to video number 14 of this Cognos project by Bharti W Consultancy. In this video, we are going to create the first report or dashboard for CFO. Please follow my earlier videos in order to have continuity in this video. So, as you might remember that in the previous video, we created this template for creating all the reports based on this template. So let's launch Cognos Report Studio and start creating our first report for CFO. Now for CFO we have to create a dashboard with six different views so it's gonna be a bit complex. Alright bring a table with three columns and two rows so we are going to create a report and we are going to use a table from toolbox with three columns and two rows. So selecting sales project so create new and it says sales project and you can open an existing template let's click report template which we created in the previous video and you can see that this template is now available this is a template right next from the menu for requirements we said we want to bring a table with three columns and two rows. Let's do that. So this is toolbox. Table. Bring in three columns and two rows. So this is the cell number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Perfect. Next, add five charts, which is going to be pie, bar, area, progressive, and line in the first set of cells and one cross tab in the last cell. Okay, let's do that. So, we do not need this list because list is not required as part of requirement so I'm going to delete it from the toolbox select the chart and drag and drop it in the first row first column which is going to be the first cell and it's loading the chart types I'm going to use, which is the column chart, uh, let's use the cylindrical. So I'm going to use this chart and I'm going to name the query as chart query. And it says drop a measure in y axis a categories and series. Let's do that. So from the source menu, from the presentation layer in customers, I'm going to pick country and drop it on the series. From the calendar I'm going to pick the sale year and I'm going to drop in the categories. For the measure, I'm going to drop from the sales info quantity or unit price. Let's do unit price. So this is my first chart which has come up. I'm going to add more charts. Second is pie chart. 
which is I'm gonna add so let's go again back to the charts and click on chart here and add in the second tab select pi and let's add this or this pi with 3d effects and click on ok again it's gonna ask me the same question this time I'm gonna be a bit different so in the series I'm gonna still continue using country but in the categories I'm going to use product category so from the products I'm gonna drag product category like this and in the measure I'm gonna still use unit price similarly I'm gonna create the chart number three which is the area chart so for the area chart I'm gonna go to the toolbox drag and drop the chart in the third make sure you are in the right cell this is the table cell and I go to area and I'm going to get this it adds a bit of scroll which we are gonna change it in in a few minutes but for now this is the area in this area chart I'm gonna use ear because remember for the CFO we have to keep this at a very high level we cannot go very detailed at a customer level or CFO and CEO level people may not be really interested in the customer level details so I'm gonna keep it at a very high level dropping ear and categories product category in the series and I'm gonna use this time unit cost in the measures section next I'm going to use the third chart so let's run this and see how it looks like the dashboard so I ran it the report is running there's no prompt nothing just a clean view and it looks good uh, on the left side you see chart the only problem is we're gonna remove the scroll which we are gonna take care but apart from that this is a good start it's always a good idea to run the report while you are developing making sure that the report is coming out all right I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save it as CFO hyphen one which is the name of my first report next we will create so we created pi bar and area we're gonna use progressive and line chart so let's use progressive chart so from the toolbox again we are gonna draw chart and put it here this time I'm gonna select progressive which is at the very bottom and I'm gonna add this progressive chart which is this in the progressive chart this is a stack chart in which the values are added in a in an additive fashion and at the end you see the total so let's use ear so we are gonna play only with ear customer cat, uh, customer country and product category which is a very high level data and that's what probably CEOs would be interested in so for now I'm gonna drag ear in the categories and I'm going to drag country in the series let's make this chart a nested chart 
So for nesting, I am going to add a product category in underneath sale like this. And then I am going to add unit price in the measures. And let's take a look how it looks like. So this is a progressive chart which shows you the value of each year wise for product category across countries. Let's make it a bit less complicated. So let's remove country. So I'm just showing you exactly how you would do it in your project. So let's remove this to make it bit more complicated uh, less complicated and now you see it looks it looks much better as compared to the previous one so you can see that this is yearly trend of beauty cell and laptop and you can see how progressively it's add up and this is the total on the right next let's do a line chart which is going to be our next chart go here drag and drop a chart again and use the line which is the second from the list and I'm going to add a clustered line or so let's use clustered line here in the line I'm going to find out what's the trend my yearly trend so I'm going to bring in sales here and then I'm going to bring in the, the country underneath the year this time and I'm going to bring in my product category in the series. This time for the facts I'll use the quantity. let's see how the line looks like else we will change it so this is how you will build in your real-time scenario in which you will add see how it looks like and change it this looks pretty good so laptop is this range from beauty is here going down and this is your cell now let's go back to our requirements sorry so let's go back to the requirement you have this line which we have done with the five charts and then one cross tab in the last cell so let's add a cross tab again go back to toolbox add cross tab on the far right and click on ok here I'm going to add from the source country year on the columns like this and product category I'm going to nest it with the sale year like this and I'm going to add unit price right side of country now I'm going to add one more measure here which is going to be quantity so bring this and make sure you are making like this because the unit price and quantity has to be stacked this is known as tag cross tab. Let's run it and see how it looks like. Which is good. So this is a dashboard. But if you look at it, there are a lot of improvements which we can do. First of all, we can make it more interactive. Second is we can squeeze the size so that it falls into one single page and we will do some more borders. So let's do that in the next video.
in which we are going to talk about how to improve on this dashboard. So make sure before doing anything save your report so that your work is saved. Keep watching the video series.